the feeling of being pushed back a mile by the devil. It's like you didn't gain any progress at all. Hi, welcome to Kira Joy for Life. My name is Kira, and if you're new, thanks for stopping by my channel. Please subscribe and give this video a like for me. Make sure you check in the description for other videos that I have, and I'm just so excited that you stopped by today. It's been a while since I posted. The last quarter of 2022 literally went by so fast. It's been months since I've posted. As you can see, I'm not in my studio at home. I am in my car. I felt like there was no better time than today to just do a video for you about 2023 and what God really laid on my heart to share with you and what he's been showing me about this upcoming year and what he's wanting to do. Joy for life is something that God really has impressed upon me for 2023. And there's some things he gave me that I wanna share with you about why and where that comes from. So these are some things that the Lord really shared with me about this year and joy. Joy will spring forth out of the dry wilderness. Your dry lands will turn into a paradise. When all around you, you see decay, thirst, emptiness, dryness, restlessness, exhaustion, and more. This will be a year of testimonies, of singing praises to God for answered prayers. You know, the Lord worked powerfully, I think, in 2022, although it had its trials and its tribulations. What seemed subtle and unnoticed is the past couple years have actually been a season of planting seeds. And it's like the seeds have been hibernating, and we haven't seen answered prayers. We haven't seen necessarily the growth that we thought but all along God is seeing these little seeds hibernating waiting to come and grow and be seen by everyone to be harvested into blessing and I know what stood out to me was it was a year or a season of, of weariness of waiting and fighting to stand on the promises of God taking steps with the Lord and feeling good and feeling like you're getting somewhere and a feeling of being pushed back a mile by the devil it's like you didn't gain any progress at all it's been hard for those of us who have been waiting to see God, knowing that he is God and not knowing necessarily when he's going to work. Sometimes it felt like we, we were almost further away and stuck in a very uncomfortable place. All the while, it's like we've been fighting to trust God that he hasn't forgotten what he's promised us. Thankfully, God does not waste our struggles, our tears, our pain. He doesn't waste a season. He turns all things out for our good. He knows his will for us from beginning to end. He knows our entire path and his will for us. You know, joy is mentioned over 300 times in the Bible. I encourage you to do a search and look up because there are so many. I honestly can't share all of them with you, but I'm going to share some because these really encouraged me and helped me to be excited about having joy in the midst of the waiting, having joy in the midst of the struggle, knowing that with everything there are seasons, there's a transition and a transformation. My husband got a word from the Lord that this was a year of transformation for us and our little family, that, that God was going to do some things. Now, what all does that look like? We don't know, but it, it confirmed what the Lord gave me as having joy in the midst of that struggle, just like a butterfly struggling in a cocoon to be made new and to be made to something different. So here's Psalms 30, 10 through 12. It says, Hear me, O Lord, and have mercy on me. Help me, O Lord. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy, that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks forever. Psalms 28, 6 through 7. Praise the Lord, for he has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. I trust him with all of my heart. He helps me, and my heart is filled with joy. Joy, I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Psalms 9, 1 through 2. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all the marvelous things you have done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. Psalms 43, 4-5 says, There I will go to the altar of the Lord, to my God, to the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my heart, O God, my God. Why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in the Lord. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. Psalms 126, 2-5 We were filled with laughter and we sang for joy. And the other nations said, What amazing things the Lord has done for them. Yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. What joy. Restore our fortunes, Lord, as the streams renew the desert. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. John 15, 7 through 11 says, But if you remain in me and my words remain in you, you may ask 
for anything you want and it will be granted. When you produce much fruit, you are my true disciples. This brings glory to my Father. I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. When you obey my commandments, you remain in my love just as I obey, just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. Romans 5, 1 through 5. Therefore, since we have been made right in God's sight by faith, we have peace with God because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. Because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege where we now stand and we we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. We can rejoice too when we run into problems and trials for we know they help us develop endurance and endurance develops strength of character and character strengthens our confident hope of salvation and this hope will not lead to disappointment for we know how dearly God loves us because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with love. You know all this shows us that being in right standing with God making sure we live in a way that honors him and that doesn't mean being perfect that doesn't mean never messing up. God doesn't demand perfection because perfection is impossible. What he does want is us to serve him and look to have a relationship with him every day to put people aside and the world aside and seek him him and what he wants and all these verses confirm to us that our relationship with him and living for him not for our own fleshly needs not for our own desires all the time but putting him first seeking his will in everything we do when we ask Jesus to be the Lord of our life we are supposed to understand that we are here to serve him that doesn't mean that we don't enjoy some things of this life we still obey do the things he's called us to do and all these things we're supposed to be joyful joy is a state of being it is not a feeling. You choose to be joyful in all things. A lot of my struggle has been physical and I'm going to do another video about that at some point soon. I want to share with you something that Pastor Mike Signorelli of a church in New York said this at the beginning of 2023. He said in this year that chronic pain and illness will be exchanged for chronic praise. And what he meant was is God is going to turn the tables. He's going to make things work out in our favor. You know, the Bible says he is able to do exceedingly and abundantly beyond what we ask or think. Everything that we want and everything that we seek to have in our lives needs to line up with God's will. We have to put him first or else nothing that we struggle to receive in our own will will last. Only God's will will remain strong and will happen if we stand with what he wants for our lives. And that's what gives us joy. Finally, I want to share with you my favorite verse. And the reason why my channel is named Kira Joy for Life is 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. But there's a few other verses after that. And that's 19. There's a few other verses past that, which I love too. And that's verses 19 through 22. It says, always be joyful. Never stop praying. Be thankful in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies. But test everything that is said and hold on to what is good. And stay away from evil. And stay away from every kind of evil. May we continue to praise him for what he's done for us and for all the things he's in the process of doing that we can't see and for all the things that he's going to do in the future. And may we bear the fruits of his spirit. May we not quench the Holy Spirit, but may we let let his fire burn free in our lives to cleanse us, to make us anew, to work and do amazing things in our lives, and for us not to be so self-focused, but focused on Him. We have to bear fruit in the harvest season that the Lord wants to bring us to. We have to seek Him. We have to seek to have joy, which is a fruit of the Spirit, but we have to seek the other fruits of the Spirit, patience, gentleness, kindness. If you seek to bear the fruits of the Spirit, you will reap a harvest. I encourage you to look up what the fruits of the Spirit are and ask God what He wants to do in your life and how He wants to see you bear fruit. I hope 2023 will be blessed for you. Please make sure you give this video a like, click subscribe, and ring that bell so you can get notified when I drop my next video. I just speak blessing over you in 2023. And as always, be blessed and stay joyful.